Hi everyone, Coach Eric here, bringing you weekly basketball tutorial. Sherrick here bringing you weekly basketball tutorial. Before we get started, I would like to emphasize a couple of essential points to take away from this session. Usually, I will coach all my guards regardless which position they may be playing to be capable of calling and setting up the play at any given time and situation. My post player, the power forward and center position, having the ability to switch at any time of the play. This will greatly widen the team's overall versatility performance, confidence and will definitely take the load and stress off any single player that the team have to rely on. It also prep the team adequately in times of foul trouble, injury, substitution, timeout rotation and to develop the player understanding of the set play that's been taught. Alright, let's get right to it. V-I-S-T-A-S, VISTA. So what does VISTA stand for? The V stands for vision. You want your teammate to always be on the lookout, scanning the court, reading the opponent's defense and to make quick entry passes to any open teammate whenever the opportunity arises. I stand for initiative. Taking initiative in basketball is extremely important. You will appreciate teammate who will take the lead, call the play and set the tempo as the game progresses on. Communicate loudly, clearly and early at all times. Then we have S. Spacing. We have a good 14 by 15 meter of space to attack. The last thing you want to do is to cram out at the corner and limit yourself to a small amount of space to run your offensive play. Spreading out evenly during an offensive play makes the defender work harder to help or recover on the defensive end. T is for timing. Timing, timing, timing. I cannot stress enough on the timing. The cut, pass, screen, roll, slip, pop, dribble, drive, shots, are all about timing. One split second in the basketball game could mean a huge difference in whether that particular play goes through. We must hold timing with great respect and make sure everyone work on their timing at all times. Next is A. Aggressive. Basketball is a contact sport. You must be able to take contact and be aggressive regardless. Learn the trick of utilizing appropriate body movement and legal footwork to increase your chances of attacking the basket. And lastly, S. Sense of urgency. No one would want a teammate to walk, neither anyone want to have an overplaying teammate. Having a sense of urgency doesn't mean that you have to move wildly at all times. Rather, having a sense of urgency means it is imperative to act promptly, decisively and without delay. For example, running forward for a fast break or sprinting back to get into a defensive position whenever the situation calls for. 
I hope this offer you an overview on the basic principle for the offensive set play you are about to learn. Next up, I will be sharing with you a video clip on how to run the play effectively. Let's go!